in Husky's garage. Um, I don't know if y'all saw the sh short earlier, but we went out this morning and got a couple of tractors. They, we believe they're from the 1930s. They're Alice uh, Chang Changlers, and we're working on uh, getting them apart and gonna restore them. So this is the first for our channel. Uh, Cubby's more into the classic cars, of course I am too, but along the way, uh, looking for uh, barn finds and things, I started seeing tractors, and that's kind of where my love came in for them. Of course, falling in love with old Fords and things, and he found these for me, and so, like I said, this is the first, and here we are. So. We're kind of diving in, and this one actually looks like it's kind of in, in good shape, and we're just going to see where, where we are. So. Oh, there's a wasp nest. Of course, there's a wasp nest under there. I don't know. <laughs> You know, made it off, you're gonna talk. You talk. So guys, we're taking out the spark plugs. Um, we're gonna let this thing sit for a week. I don't know if the engine's locked. It feels like it is, obviously we're missing a starter. You know, the other one I've started on either, but we're gonna take those out and let some oil sit in there. See how bad this is. Um, everybody knows what the serial number is on these things, so I can. I think that might be it, but I don't know yet. So apparently, somebody has worked on this before or redone this, at least the paint, because the spark plugs have been painted over, and like all the wiring has been painted over. Um, so, I mean, it's a good paint job and everything, um, but of course, something from the 30s is not gonna look that good um, with the original paint. We've had a very busy day today. Uh, got a lot of projects going, so. Yeah, this is the first real video we've probably made in a minute. So thank y'all for sticking with us and thank you to the new subscribers for subscribing. Please like and subscribe and share. I don't know what that is. That's the first time I've ever seen a spark plug come out like that. <laughs> well, there ain't no water in the engine, so that's good. It smells like paint. Well, uh, it might be, I don't know, electric lube or whatever. So y'all saw on her trailer, we also just got a new winch that we installed last night. Okay, that and uh, my wife picked it out and it's actually, I like the winch itself, but what I don't like is it's from Amazon. And it didn't come with any instructions basically. It shows you how to wire it. That's about it. It doesn't give you any kind of layout of, that's your oil filter. It doesn't give you any kind of layout of uh, where to drill your holes at to mount the thing on your plate doesn't come with any kind of plate for the for the uh, fairway lead doesn't give you any instructions whatsoever on how to hook anything else up so basically we were flying in the blind and it was dark and i was tired and we finally got it hooked up and it worked good today but we don't have the fair, fairway lead hooked up and I called them and said, I think it's broke and they're supposed to be sending me another one. So we're going to see if the new one has it on there or it was just my imagination. We got to send that one back. So now we have tools of the trade. Maybe I'll be seeing a lot more projects come our way. Possibly some car shows. 
in the near future. Not that bad. A little oily. Here, take your dipstick out so people got oil in it. Now we also got that big old tiller over there I've been trying to work on. It has oil in it. It's dirty. But at least there's fluid in there. It don't look like there's any water mixed in it. And it had hydraulic fluid. Yep. And it, um, that leaked all over the trailer. Um. There's a little rust down here. Nothing that bad. Really. There's your, uh. Yeah, clutch and breaker working. Uh, a little stuck. Steering wire. A little stuck. We're gonna spray this off. What are we on? Try these things. What is this doing? I, I don't know. You gotta wrap around the thing. Where are you? It's a. Um, hit somewhere up in there and then this spring right here. on the side. Okay. It's over there. Here's your throttle. Oh, well, that actually moves. Okay. So, well, I was this thinking is... I was spraying this as the throttle earlier. You mm -hmm. said you didn't know what that was. I think was. that might be the choke. It ain't working. But this is, this is your throttle and it is moving. Here, this is the spring right there. Those are just brake pedals. Yeah, they're a little stiff, but I was surprised they're working good. Um, well, that's moving. Y'all me hobbling around here earlier. One of our projects we had earlier today. She ran her foot decided over. Decided to run over my foot. <laughs> so, well, let's see if we can. That's a little painful. Y'all can see it has a, almost a fairly new belt on there. And you got your old thermostat gauge. Yeah, with the Alice Chamblers. Everybody was calling it cham Chambers. I think I said Chambers earlier in one of the videos. And here's where your oil goes in. You see it says oil. I can't get it off there though because it's frozen Stuck. solid. Did you spray that? No. And uh, somebody has already, another sign oh, yeah. that. Uh, Somebody's already worked on it. They have already upgraded it to the 12 volt and put an alternator on it. Um, right up there. So, yeah, that's. Um, we just gotta find the model and oh, it needs a, a radiator. We don't have a radiator. Yeah. Right here. But like I said earlier, I'm I'm tickled pink. And, and really excited about this. So, um, of course, you know, I'm excited about all of our projects and all of our builds, but other than outside of the Plymouth, this is <laughs> grounds for divorce too. <laughs> so, <laughs> and uh, I keep telling the Plymouth, don't worry, we're, you know, gonna work on it. And that actually was in the plans for this weekend. Um, but, uh, you know, Seems like plans always change. So y'all hang out with us and, and uh, we'll get there a <laughs> little bit by a little bit. Um, like I said, a lot of projects uh, going on. So I appreciate you guys and uh, sticking with us. Spray some lube down the holes, and then we'll chase it with whatever ATF I have left. It's just coming back out. That means. Yeah. I need to use a stick. Do you have a stick? Yeah.
might be able to turn them that way. You might want to make me do a starter. Huh? Well, it was good as the oil and everything else in it. I don't, I don't think she's stuck. Um. Yeah. Oh, I just think she needs a little love. I have no idea how long this one's been sitting. was right, fellas. <laughs> that's, that's why we got it, all right? Because, uh, honestly, I can get more out of scrap metal for these things than what we paid for them. So we figured to give a shot and Heather wanted one, so I got it. We got it. And it's fine. God bless it. Now, I know I don't have a rubber mallet anymore. I can't find it. Until next weekend when it's daylight saving time in, it'll still be light. Yes. It's pretty though. Uh, Y'all can't see. We're looking at the clouds. They're like a bluish gray color. I'm not even sure that y'all can see us at this point. Somebody is grilling steaks. It's making me quite jealous. We don't have a charcoal grill anymore. Hey, bird. Gently tapping. Just don't, don't 
pressure too much. Stuck. No. Yeah, I take that back. She probably is. Y'all get a little closer and see this garbage. Right. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Yeah, we'll you got the other engine over there. That's not the worst I've seen. But that's pretty bad. You got the other engine over there? Yeah. Folks, looks like we might be rebuilding an engine. That's not mud, y'all. That's rust. Just FYI, that's that's rust. I think the other engine that I saw like that, it was mud at least. This is rust. Well, she's locked up tighter than something I can't see on this channel. <laughs> uh, yeah. But we have another tractor, y'all. In fact, we should go look. There's some numbers. Yeah, that AM to something or other, right over it's right in here again. This is your thermostat and your water <laughs> hustle. Well, huh. ain't nothing we ain't had to do for. Nope. Y'all, I think we all need a moment of silence and hope that the other one's not like this. Let's go look at the other one, by the way. Well, fellas, this is the other engine. Uh, it's got a different stamp on it. But I just noticed something to point out to Heather. They actually have had it covered the whole time. So it might be okay block and we can just switch it over to that other machine. Did you check the oil on this one? No. Clean no water. That's cleaner uh, oil. That's clean oil. You sure that's clean oil? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. That's clean oil though. Oh yeah, that's, that's clean oil. All right. Smells good too, don't have a lot of gas in it. So, we're going to end up probably well, going. Well folks, we might be doing an engine swap on it. Yeah, I wish I could see, I have no money with this one. Yeah, there's a carburetor on this side. I told you the carburetor went there. See? Y'all, he does not believe me. There's carburetor, but it's missing every other thing else. But the other engine has other other things. So we can just I don't know. I told you that carburetor does not look savable though. Well, no, it might be okay. Maybe. So obviously this machine is a parts machine. Could be used for everybody. scrap. There's old BB. She's approving of the tractor. But you guys, we're gonna get you some good videos out shortly. This one's missing the radiator too, and doesn't have any kind of alternator or any kind of starter, but it does have the carburetor, and it looks like clean oil in the block. So that might be worth looking into. We'll probably do that next weekend. Oh, it's, a, it's got four bolts. Mm -hmm. That one in it too. Yeah. So they're probably different years. I bet you this is the older model. Little charcoal canister, everybody. Oh, that's your, actually your oil filter, but <laughs> that's what it looks like. Anyway, and uh, we will get some stuff up. There's my dirty trailer that we're going to have to clean. Ooh, we can show everybody the winch. I don't know. <laughs> Random one, but it's been a while since we made anything, so look at the mud and junk on my trailer. It's supposed to be a greenish blue. But yeah, we got... Right, she says gracious. We got this big boy here. It's a rug sale. Heather picked it up for me. 13,000. Tank is its name. 13,000. 500 pound capacity. And you left it uncovered. But yeah, it's the tank, as you can see. And uh, not bad. We got to we gotta get a cover for it. And I got my truck parked in front of the trailer so nobody around here will steal it. 
it's big enough so anything that you want to bring home you can bring home other than a diesel considering <laughs> um the trailer will only hold seven thousand pounds yeah but it's the nicest trailer we've ever owned oh, so you guys have a blessed week uh, thanks for tuning in yes well thank y'all for being tickled pink with me i don't know this will be a short video probably I might just save it for next weekend and collaborate for you guys. Get a real long video for everybody. If you guys, uh, please like and subscribe. It greatly helps us. And we appreciate you. God bless. Talk to you guys later. Say bye, those. Bye. Bro. Bro. Can you say hey? Bro. You're not going to say intro? Say hey, welcome to Husky's Garage. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Husky's Garage. We're out here with the dogs. Uh, this is Wednesday after work. Bruce is not all that interested. There's uh, Sarge over there. So we came to check on <coughs> the tractor over here that we thought we were gonna be uh, part donating and we actually got the engine opened up and i'm sorry i know it's hard to see because oh wait, wait a minute i got mine i got light hold on lord said and let there be light ha ha and this is actually the better engine guys if y'all remember what the other one looked like all the rust and everything this one's in a lot better shape we're not side by side comparing them um but this one the valve cover actually had four, four screws where the other one had two and these screws are our rods and the oil thing um is one piece this. so that engine might not be locked because of the engine lock but the transmission itself is locked i can't shift into anything and also this thing is stuck so these work on the other motor yeah i'm wondering if this Maybe. can just transfer to that if the bell housing lines up or not but they're gonna put some what i have left because oh, no, it does the other side has a little bit of rust on the springs and stuff but i'm sure that'll eat it up um see it does have a little bit of rust but nothing like what the other one had where it was literally just all rust so yeah, we're gonna get some, uh, more ATF. <laughs> get some more ATF, um, but uh, we'll, we have a little bit left. We showed you guys there's actually clean oil in this motor. Yes. Excuse the pine straw, we haven't cleaned that off yet. Um, but uh, let what we have sit down in the engine. There's a filter. Oh, well. Oil filter. Oh, yeah. oil filter. That's probably the original oil filter. Yeah, it says Alice Chambers. That's a collectible item right there. It says Alice Chambers on here with the model number and element. Oil filter element. Yeah. That's going on the wall. <laughs> so, um, we're really excited to find out that this is going to be a good motor and we don't have to rebuild. Um, so far, we hope we don't have to rebuild. Yeah. Or, you know, go and find one, another one completely. So we just wanted to check in with you guys and show you what we found this evening. Oh, and there might be a different project coming Saturday. We're getting ready for summer. We we'll have all kinds of stuff to work on. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, we don't have our hands full as it is already or anything. Um, but anyways, just wanted to shout out with you guys and let you know what's going on. Hang in there with us and... We'll have more this weekend. Thanks. Bye. Hey guys, it's Kobe and Heather with Huskies. So we're out here messing with Heather's tractor. They got an old Alice Chambers. I'm saying that right. Chamblers. Chamblers. I think we narrowed it down to the 1937-38 model B. You gotta forgive us. We have both been diagnosed with COVID and this is day three. I can't sit down no more because it's hard to breathe either way, so I figured I'll come up the sun and sweat me out a little bit. As you can see, we got the thing under the 
He's not looking at it. The front tires are tacked up. I take those off, change them out for the other ones. And we got the rear tire uh, off. As you can see, and um, I think there's a good rear tire on the other tractor work. I'm trying to get off of it. And these have tubes in them, so one of them might hold air temporarily just so we can move it around. And we're going to go ahead and pull the engine tube, providing I don't pass out first. And uh, this will be this will be day one, and then we'll probably get the other one sometime this weekend. Hopefully, that'll be day two, and then one of them's going to the scrapyard, unfortunately. But y'all bear with us. Let's get to work here. It's going to be very slow progress. Um, please like and subscribe, and uh, don't leave the channel. A few of y'all have. We apologize for not getting more videos out, but life gets in the way. I'm sure you can understand. Okay, guys. We'll be back in a minute. Hello. 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 Sorry, y'all. There was a pickup truck trying to creep around the neighborhood. I need to take. Stopping at each and every one of the houses. <laughs> I love the little moss. I don't know if y'all can see it. The moss that it still has on there. It's like it's got its own little veins. Some that have stranger veins or something. I don't know how you're going to get that, but look at it. Oh, the rich. It's well done. Size of the Big. 
big. Oh no, but it's too big. It's still in there. until you pointed it out, but I do. I'm not exactly concerned about it considering the clutch and the when everything goes in gear. Well thank you for your uh, name. <coughs> She's a part. It goes in the train instead of going out. Yes, and third divers were happy up in there. Just a drain of water out of it. Alright, help me push it. Alright, y'all. Hold on. We'll be right back. There you go, guys. We got this one out. Um, as you can see, and the engine's out there. I wouldn't advise doing any of this on dirt. We didn't have a choice. So, we're gonna work on the other one. Maybe tomorrow, or possibly Saturday. Hopefully if we feel any better. Well, this gives Heather a good time to come in here when she's feeling better and sand this crap down and get it painted. And then, we'll see if we'll have another surprise for you. We might go pick up the night or tomorrow, not sure yet. But you guys please like and subscribe. This is just part one gonna be a lot of these videos so i hope you like them you can leave some suggestions if you want leave some likes um please follow us on uh youtube and facebook we have a channel on there of course there's the old plan if we're still 
going to work on her. We'll talk to you guys later. God bless. Uh, I'll be safe.